Hello YouTube friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deidre from our Upcycled Life. Do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content. If you like that kind of stuff, we'd love to have you follow along. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification so you don't miss any great DIY content. I raided my upcycling bin. I pulled out a um, olive oil container, a nut container, a plastic nut container, and a Bix pickle jar. And I upcycled them and they turned out so fabulous. I can't wait to show you guys how I did them. So. Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna make these three upcycled um, containers into some fall decor. First project, we're going to upcycle this olive oil tin container. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do, I've got a little exacto knife and I'm gonna cut out the nozzle of it so it lays flat and this is gonna be the bottom of the project. And now I'm gonna spray paint it with my uh, Rust-Oleum primer and paint, um, spray paint in black. Now before I did this, I made sure I took it inside and I put it in a sink full of hot soapy water, gave it a really good rinse, and then I wiped it with an alcohol wipe because the oil will make the paint not stick. So you wanna make sure you have it super clean. And I'm just gonna give it a real good coat over the whole project and then let it dry completely. The spray paint's completely dry, and now I'm going to put on a couple coats of my um, pumpkin orange acrylic paint. It doesn't cover very well the first coat, so it might take two or three coats to get it to the desired color that you want. Okay, and I'm going to put some graphics on. I'm going to use a jack-o'-lantern face. I think this is so cute with the little eyelashes. This graphic is available in my Etsy store if you want to grab them. Actually, it's a set of four jack-o'-lantern faces. And make sure you use the code SAVE50, and you can get 50% off all of my graphics in there. And I'm going to do my Mod Podge reverse graphic transfer on this project. If you've been watching, um, you've seen me do this technique before. It's really easy. You use your Mod Podge in matte finish and you just put a light coat over your whole graphic flip it over and then let it sit overnight and then you're going to rub the paper off i love using this technique it works so perfect for so many different projects and it allows you to do it a lot more affordable than using stencils or a cricut just print it off on my laser jet printer and then um, I'm flipping it over right now and I'm just going to make sure I rub out all the bubbles and wrinkles, make sure it's laying nice and flat and then I'm just going to set it aside. Don't touch it. You want it to be dry completely until tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day. I've just dampened the paper until you can just start to see the graphics and then you're rubbing off all of the paper and then I'm putting a really good coat of polyacrylic sealer to finish it off. And then I found this little end of a spindle that I had in my um, stash and I'm going to hot glue it, add some embellishments on the top and this turned out so flippin' cute and it was made out of an olive oil container out of the recycling bin. And the best part, this didn't cost me anything because I already had everything in my craft stash. Okay, on to the second project. We are going to work away at this pickle jar. I am going to paint it with my homemade chalk paint. I find chalk paint works the best to adhere to glass. Um, acrylic and latex paint does not work very well. So I'm going to put a real good coat over this whole um, glass jar, let it sit and dry really well in between coats and it'll probably take two coats and then um, the last coat I'm going to take a little sponge because sometimes when you're painting with chalk paint you can get little lines left in the paint and when you take a sponge afterwards it just gets rid of all those little lines and just makes it a much nicer finish. I want to spray paint the lid of the pickle jar. I don't like the gold, so I'm going to take it out and just put a nice coat of the white spray paint on it and then let it dry completely. And then I've got some floral form I got at the dollar store. I'm going to cut it out in the shape of the lid and I'm just going to take a sharp knife and just kind of draw around it just to trace it and then cut out a circle form the same size as the lid. I've got that circle shape all cut out. I'm taking my hot glue and I'm just going to glue it to the top of that lid. 
I love using the Gorilla glue sticks in my hot glue gun. I'll put a link down below in the description um, to those because they work perfect. Now I had all kinds of little bits and pieces of fall faux flowers and little picks and I'm just going to just kind of work away and just fill that floral form um, with all kinds of fall goodies until I think it looks nice and make it nice and full. And this is how it turned out. I think it looks really great. And it's all glued together on top of that lid from the pickle jar. I'm gonna put some graphics on the pickle jar and I'm gonna use my technique to print my own napkins to decoupage. I've put a napkin onto a piece of plain paper, I've taped it on and then you put it through your printer and it'll print right onto the napkin. I have a full tutorial on my channel. I'll put a link down below in the description and up here on how I do it. Now I've just got a page sleeve and I'm going to take my graphic and cut it away from the paper and you just want to cut it a little bit bigger than the graphic so you can have a little bit of room to work with it and what we want to do is I'm going to place it down on this plastic sleeve and then I'm going to take a stiff paintbrush now you can see that once I peel it away you can see the actual napkin with the printing on it I'm going to take a stiff paintbrush and I'm going to just dip it in water and just go around the edge of the napkin and what this is doing is it's just creating a little bit of a rough edge around that graphic because if you just stuck that graphic on with the straight lines it would not blend in very well um, on your jar so this just makes it blend in better and gives it a nicer finish and you just have to make sure you have a little stiff paintbrush. Just dip it in the water and just go around your graphic. As you can see, see how it's kind of created a rough edge and just work away at that. Okay, I made a little mistake. I should have had this flipped over the other way because when you're applying it onto your project, it has to be facing down. So I was really careful. It's only one ply of napkin, so it's really, really fragile. So I flipped it over and then I'm just gonna put some water on it just with, I have a little bit of water on this sponge and you want to completely wet the whole napkin. This type of decoupaging is called a water transfer and it works really, really well. Uh, you just have to be really patient with it and be really gentle with the napkin. I'm just kind of gently pulling away any wrinkles that might have come from when I put the water on it. And then I'm just going to take a little rag and just very gently just get off any excess water on that napkin. And now we're ready to decoupage the napkin onto the jar. So I'm gonna use my Mod Podge mat. I'm going to put a light coat over the whole surface where the napkin is going to go. And then I'm gonna pick up that plastic sleeve with the graphic on it and just very gently put it right on the project where I want it. Now the nice thing about this technique is if it's not exactly where you want it, you can kind of pick it up very gently and move it until it's nice and flat and exactly where you want it. And you're just going to take your fingers and you can see I just wasn't quite lined up exactly where I wanted it so I was able to pick it up and now I'm just gonna take my fingers and just gently press it down into the project, getting out any air bubbles or wrinkles and working away at that. You can do this method on a laser jet or an inkjet printer. You might find sometimes if you're using an inkjet printer, your ink might run a little bit, but I have found with mine, if I give it a spray of hairspray before I do this, it sets the ink and it won't run. So you just kind of have to experiment with it. And then once I have it exactly where I want it and pressed all the air bubbles out, you just peel away that plastic sleeve and that napkin is decoupaged right onto your project. And you can see all the edges have blended in really well. I think it looks fantastic. I'm gonna add a polyacrylic sealer, some embellishments, and then I'm gonna take that lid that I made um, and I added all the faux flowers and, and little fall bits and pieces to it and it fits right on top of the jar. And look how darling this is. It turns out so fabulous. And you can fill it up with little goodies and give it away as a gift or just set it on a mantle or a table for your fall decor. 
And onto our third and last project, we're going to upcycle that peanut container. Now it's plastic and you wanna make sure that you use a spray paint that works on plastic because if not, if you just paint directly onto a plastic container with chalk paint or latex paint, it will chip and fall off. So make sure you give it a coat of this um, spray paint first before you paint any other paint on top of it and that way it will avoid um, any chipping or peeling off. Once you have a coat of this spray paint on, it will allow you to use your paint, any type of paint that you would like, your latex, your chalk paint, or your acrylic. And I'm going to put a coat of my chalk paint on top of this. That's just your preference. You can just use a spray paint if you want, but I like the look of the chalky texture um, on my projects. So I've let the chalk paint dry completely and I'm putting a coat of my homemade chalk paint on top of it. Okay, and now we're gonna put some graphics on this project. I'm gonna use the same method again, using my homemade napkins to decoupage with, putting them into my printer, and then printing out the graphics on top of that napkin. And like I said before, I have a full tutorial. I'll put a link down below so you can check that out. And then I'm going to just cut it out um, to size to fit my project. This graphic's also available in my Etsy store if you wanna grab it to try it out on your projects. Remember, use the code SAVE50 for all my YouTube friends so you can save 50% off on all the graphics. I'm just cutting it down to size and then I peel the napkin away from the paper and we're ready to use the water method to decoupage it onto um, my project. Now I'm remembering this time to turn it facing down so I don't have to flip it over after. And I'm just gonna take my little paintbrush and just make the edges a little bit ragged so they blend into the project better. And these protector sleeves, um, you can just buy them at the dollar store. If you look with the office supplies, I always find them there. And they make a really great uh, base to do this technique on. I'm just gonna dampen the napkin so it's nice and wet, get all the little tiny wrinkles and bubbles out of it, take a little rag, get all the excess water off, and then we're ready to pick up that plastic sleeve and lay it on the project. And just gonna put a coat of my Mod Podge uh, mat and then lay it down exactly where I want it, press out any air bubbles, any wrinkles, and then you're gonna peel away that plastic sleeve and you've got your graphics decoupaged right onto your project. And I wanted to put a little knob on the top of that a lid and I found this little um, knob that I had and had a really short little screw in it and I think it's gonna work out perfect for this lid. So I'm just taking a drill, it already has a little indent to right in the center so I can drill right through that and then just put the little um, screw through there and then twist on the knob and it worked out perfect. Always have a little stash of all this kind of stuff that you can always dig into and find something that'll work perfect for projects. And I'm gonna seal everything up with some polyacrylic sealer. And to finish it off, I found these really cute little Halloween uh, wooden cutouts at the dollar store. I'm gonna add them as little embellishments around the bottom of the container, paint the little spider and the spider web, add some ribbon around it, glue it on, tie on some little orange ribbon, add my spider and my spider web. And isn't this so cute? I love it. And you could fill it up with all your Halloween candy and tuck it in with your Halloween decor. And I think it looks so cute. So there you have it. Three things pulled out of the recycling bin, a pickle jar, a peanut container, a plastic peanut container, and a tin olive oil container. And they just turned into really great fall Halloween decor. Let me know down in the comments which one's your favorite. Thanks so much for watching today's video and if you have any questions or comments leave them down below. I love to read them. I'll be sharing so many more DIY thrifting repurposing videos so if you aren't already following along make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and that will let you know when I upload my next video. See you real soon. Take care and have a great day.